Yeah, but hang on. I mean, Cameron, you know, uh, right, Michael says the economy's bigger, but what, what good is that if you've got to uh, uh, expand it among many more mouths to feed and it comes at a cost of cohesion and crowded cities and this and that and the other uh, and housing prices? I mean, for all this immigration, we are poorer per capita than we have been for a few years uh, now. I mean, surely there's more to... You know, we should be able to fix our problems without always just importing the solution from overseas. Well, and wouldn't it be nice if the skilled labourers were brickies and tilers and carpentry guys who could build a few houses as well, rather than public servants and pen pushers? Um, so, look, no, I think, um, I think we've got to, uh, to get the balance right. Uh, clearly, we need to house the existing Australian population, and that's the point Peter Dutton's made. Peter Dutton says, let's pause to actually catch up to where we need to catch up to. Stephen Miles has said the same. If you come to South East Queensland, it's going topsy at the moment in terms of people trying to find housing. So, no, we need to stop the floodgates, close them off, actually sort out our own backyard and, and do that hopefully with some skilled migrants who can build a few houses, Andrew. See, see this is the issue, uh, Michael. I should give you a right of reply to what I just said. I, I've seen two surveys, one by the Australian uh, Population Research Institute, um, saying that a lot of the people we bring in as skilled immigrants don't then work in the area that we brought them in for. And a lot of the students that we then uh, give permanent residency to uh, don't actually work in skilled work themselves. So this is the issue, really. I mean, uh, it seems to be a very crude way of overcoming the skill shortages. Well, you're right about that, Andrew. And, and as I said, there, there needs to be a focus on skilled migration. Uh, I'll just take you up on that point. I mean, the per capita recession's only been a recent phenomenon. Um, you know, the two decades prior to that, uh, we had growth in real incomes, even though productivity was low. So I don't think we should be throwing up the baby with the bathwater here. Uh, a temporary suspension of the migration program and a rebalancing towards the skills that we need as Peter Dutton's proposing, makes a lot of sense and I think it should be supported. Um, but, you know, as a country, we do need to have a steady state of sustainable migration. Um, our birth rates, for a start, are declining. And if we don't do that, we're going to end up in all sorts of problems, supporting our welfare system, our infrastructure that's declining. So it's a, about, it's a matter of getting the balance right. And at the moment, it's not right.